Good evening, and yes, it is evening, and I know that is late for the new music Friday, but Friday is not being so much fun today. However, here I am, and here is this week's new music Friday and my new hat. Uh, we're kicking off this week's new music Friday with Dreams by Animaguchi and Flux Plavillion. Now, Animaguchi are playing in London earlier next year, so if you want to check them out, you can do so there. Uh, this is from the Rocket League soundtrack. Now, say what we want about gaming music, but it is getting better and better and better as games get averager and averager and averager. So, it's a mixed message. I particularly like this track, and it's a good start to new music for IA. So, without further ado, let's see what's coming next, and hopefully, we can avoid Christmas tracks. But I very much doubt it. Well, it didn't take long to have a Christmas song in this week's New Music Friday lineup. However, it's not the biggest disappointment because it's not that Ed Sheeran one. It's by Terrorvision, the tremendous Terrorvision. And it's called Santa Never Came. So it's kind of depressing for a Christmas song, but I did put myself on the top of the tree. Meow! Now, you still have time to cast the tremendous television if you'd like to see them live this year. Two more dates left, Bradford and Nottingham Rock City. Not sure if there's tickets are available, but they are still playing. I think it's the 27th of December. So, you know, day after Boxing Day. I bet you they'll be playing this. Anyhow, good to see television back in New Music Friday, even if it is with a Christmas tune. Now, if you've been following any of my New Music Friday, or if you've seen any of my New Music Friday videos before, you will know that I have a very, 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 very soft spot and a posh on for playing a bit of Epicar, because uh, they are epic. They are kicking off their New Year tour starting early in New Year, 25th of February. But if you'd like to hear a live, here we have it. Epica, Omega Alive, damn good, well worth the listen, fusion of genres, just mm, beautiful, always worth the listen. Hey, 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 Bazooki King is Vasilis Papadopoulos, and I'm sure that is his real name and not just the stage name, because these guys are about as Greek as I am. Actually, they're probably more Greek, because I'm only half Greek, so they're more Greek than I am. Either way, it's Bazooki. Uh, this is more of their traditional stuff as opposed to the covers that they released earlier this year. Still fun, always worth a listen in the car and, you know, try to refrain from saying whoopa. Papu? Yes? Yeah? It's your fault? I know, I'm still not driving a freaking taxi. And I haven't got a chip either. Oh, the Phil are really, 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 really trying to rake in some of that lost revenue from being shut down during the pandemic. And who can blame them? Because obviously, you know, running an orchestra is not cheap. Uh, this is yet another album they've released this side of Christmas, hoping to cash in on the Christmas stocking fillers for mum and dad. Uh, this is Strauss. Uh, the conductor is Klaus Tenstein, and Jesse Norman is the soprano. And of course, it is the London Philharmonic Orchestra. <laughs> well, as I keep saying, it would not be a new music Friday without having some Snoop Dogg in there somewhere, whether it be collaborating or some of his original own stuff. And. I stand firm by what I said about this album last week. It is very murder was the case. It's very 1994, but that's no bad thing because it's nice to see Snoop going back to the OG roots. This time he's got Redman, Method Man, and Neferita Avani. It's from the album Algorithm Global Edition, and it is. It's old school Snoop, old school hip hop, and it's it's banging. And it definitely goes full blast in the car. I mean, can you imagine driving past me being stuck in my car in traffic in one minute, snoop bouncing, boom, 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 and then the next thing you've got some freaking clear the blue. Yeah, 
But either way, I'm having fun. The music is awesome. But this is awesome too. So, Algorithm. It's another classical album out there just in time for the Christmas markets. Uh, yes, this time it is the London Symphony Orchestra. Again, I'm sure they were impacted by the pandemic. So I will excuse them just hashing out some old stuff to get some revenue. Uh, it's the Rimsky, well, it is Rimsky Koskovsky or Koskov, uh, Sherez, Sherezade in the London Symphony the London Symphony Orchestra of course if you like this you will get it and it will help them and I always say this is how you help the artist you love so cold case streaming but don't forget if you do like it get something tangible now don't we all want to be free but this this song was making me smile even before I realised it was Pegboy Nerds. And as soon as you see Pegboy Nerds, you know it's going to be a banger. So there you go. It is Pegboy Nerds, and he he, it's typical Pegboy Nerds. So yes, enjoy and be free. I've said before, Steve Oki is a wizard. He's a wizard, Mr. Oki. He really is. He's a fantastic musical wizard uh, probably this is the best thing about cowboy bebop thing on netflix i mean let's face it it was okay as an anime uh live action mm, it's kind of hit the mark but that's what netflix does isn't it they throw shitloads of money at someone yeah hey, that'll make a good thing and then maybe you get one series out of it so well uh, well fair play for oki you know He's improved it tenfold. I'm falling for you. Falling for you. Slippy by uh, yeah, blah, blah. Slippy and H Aura. Now Slippy is one of Monster Cat's residents. He has gone on to do his own thing, but he's still, you know, very prevalent and Meow, bad kitty. Uh, Every prevalence in the EDM scene. Florida Man makes good. So here's the uh, good Florida Man article. I wonder what they're looking at. I mean, it might be you. Yeah, we're all looking at you. Here's looking at you, kid. Uh, this is blindfold. So it's kind of be difficult to, to see, really. I mean, I don't know how they're looking at you with a blindfold. But it's Dirty Phonics, and if you like your EDM on a little bit on the heavier end of the spectrum, this is definitely one for you, because they are as like Pegboy Nerds. In fact, if you want any modern EDM on the heavier side, you guarantee it's going to include Dirty Phonics and alias Pegboy Nerds. Then Kazo, you know, the list could go on. The playlist would be awesome. In fact, I may drop that playlist very soon. But until then, check out Blindfold. Well, wow. What more can one say? Wow is a complete sentence. See? Wow. Full stop. Uh, yes. This is Love Is Gone. Now it's by Slander and it is a really good and beautiful song. Uh, but what you have here is a Textio remix. A Grammy Award winning DJ producer working with Slander. So, you know, wow. I'm glad to see them doing so well. Uh, yes. Uh, check out the original, but this is just as good. Well worth a listen. Well played, Slander. Okay. If you like Iron Maiden, if you were brought up on Somewhere in Time and the Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, if you like traditional power metal, you know, long hair, tight jeans, and you know, just basically rocking out with <clears throat> out. You must listen to Iron Stadium. However, they don't have a huge following on the Spotify. Doesn't mean they're not good. Uh, maybe they're a bit dated for some. Maybe there's a reason. And if there is, I'm sure somebody in the comment section will tell me that Iron Savior are uh, looked down upon. But really realistically i mean i've got lots of their songs liked in my car playlist 
Uh, yeah, I tend to skip them because you have to be in the mood for certain metal, but it surprises me. Anyway, this is a remastered version uh, with Peter Sailing. Now, I'm guilty. As charged, the last two weeks, Green Day and this album, BBC Live Sessions, has produced two previous in New Music Fridays. And they've been in, and I kind of just skipped past them. Not because I just like Green Day, I'm just not a big fan of live recordings in the car. And, you know, if you like Green Day, you will no doubt have heard this song a billion times before. But I figured best not ignore it in this week, third time running. Uh, this is Minority, uh, it is of course by Green Day, and it is from the BBC Live Sessions. See, some truth from the BBC. Unusual, but Green Day is still awesome. Here's one from Public Enemy and the 7777 Project. And I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to make a whole new video on this one. But this, I'm going to include New Music Friday. Because I have been listening to Public Enemy since I was, well, nay hi to a grasshopper. Many, many years. But, hmm, you know, some people like to kick you. So. Artists I've had some response, some shade, Papoose. They were saying things like, I should stay in my lane and that sort of thing. And that makes me very upset. You know, why, why can't I delight in it? Oh, why can't I have Shostakovich and Shice? Give me a favour, Rinder, man. Look in camera five, yeah? Oh, fine. And say, pussy, don't talk about nothing, man's a rough guy. <laughs> right, so, why am I just put a little clip of Judge Rinder in there? Well, he recently got a lot of flack for listening to UK grand music. Uh, and Big Nasty is a UK grand artist. And he put it more eloquently than I ever could. So why am I sticking this in the middle of a public enemy thing on New Music Friday? Well, I was going to do a whole video on, you know, how music is... Music is... Well, music is worldwide and it's for everybody. And if we gatekeep music and musical genres based on colour, creed or where you're from then you would never hear the messages from bands like Public Enemy and it's pretty apparent that people have not been hearing those messages messages is in music uh, and that's what great artists do and great music does it gives us messages and so, so this video doesn't tend to be a rant I will just say listen to Big Nasty when he says to George Rinder, listen to Public Enemy. Listen to the music that makes you happy. Listen to the music that inspires you to make change within the world. Don't ever let anybody tell you you cannot listen to a certain genre of music. It's for everybody. It's a universal language. Happy New Music Friday. Sorry for the rant. Wow. This is just what I needed after that rant. I apologise for that rant, but I just needed to be safe. You know, we ha can't gatekeep music. It is for everybody. Now, to bring me down is perfect. It couldn't be any more perfect than Andromeda by Rai Echo. Now, they are awesome and they are doing amazing work. So now they have two tracks to play on Spotify, which is awesome because the last track they released, I have been listening to on repeat. Well, in Mr. The Playlist, but I don't skip it when it comes on, which is a rarity, rarity in my playlist. I do skip quite a lot. People know that I do skip quite a lot. Uh, but no, Rai Echo, fantastic up and coming artist, a future star that is shining bright. They are truly tremendous and Give them a follow on Spotify and I will add them on this so you can follow them on TikTok and see what I'm talking about. Yay! It's The Levelers, one of my all-time favourite bands and I actually got to see them live the other week. So fantastic and thank you for an amazing gig. It was, they've lost none, none of their on-stage presence. They truly are amazing and they have always has been amazing live. Now, I wasn't a big fan of the one-way version on the lockdown sessions, but, you know, that's the hit and miss, isn't it? But the Carry Me, Carry Me has been one of my all-time favourite level of songs. And after that rant of mine earlier, you know, 
music has a message and the levelers they just hit you in the face with the with the wet fish and they tell you the message yet not many people listen so you know if we did we wouldn't be in this shit stool that we have now fuck boris johnson i'll tell you one thing this band called more they have a little bit of everything they're a talented little bunch of artists aren't they i mean wow the last few weeks they've been dripping new music into new music friday yet nothing has blown me away as much as this and the voice of rowan veeks wow it's it's beautiful you know a lot of people go on about great voices and then they you know, turn into divas or annoyances but then again i probably upset a few people when i say this you know people like amy winehouse oh gone too soon greatest voice ever she really wasn't she really wasn't and yes she was gone too soon and she could have grown into a truly tremendous artist but no no someone like this this is a voice this is good so yeah tell you what this pandemic might have been a shit show for the freaking music industry and it might have crippled quite a few artists uh, you know from touring and revenue streams but one thing it has done is it's given some truly amazing and talented people time to work on their craft and what i'm talking about here is two lanes these are musical maestros they are amazing uh you're going to be hearing a lot more from these guys you truly are so here they are with the uh, pan am and monkey safari it's uh, rolling back remixes but two lanes they oh wow definitely worth it now could the future of music and the music industry adapt to the blows from this pandemic and various lockdowns i'm sure we can i'm sure they can and i'm sure there's gonna be this week's new music fry is very heavy on the edm side and that's no bad thing uh, here we have griffin Luva, and alf or alf or alf whatever way you pronounce their name they always as they stay take you on a musical journey a monster cat stable favorite and they will continue to knock out amazing tracks with amazing people always worth a listen and yay no sooner do i say edm is heavy in the rotation on new music friday does metal rise up from the grave in the form of black label society and destroy and conquer not as heavy or powerful as Iron Saviour earlier on from New Music Friday, but they are heavy and they are metal and they are playing download this next year. Uh, they've got one more gig left this year in San Francisco on the 28th of December, but after that it's all European dates until download. So I envy you if you are going to download, but at least it can go on this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Anyhow, Black Label Society. Ooh, talking of beautiful voices, here we have Melinda. On TikTok as Melinda Sings, uh, you can catch her on Facebook as well. I featured her very early on this year as a future star, and she has indeed rose to the top and shining bright. You'll even find her in one of the most viewed videos of TikTok from this year. So well played, well done. And as I've said many times before, I am looking forward to seeing her live at a folk festival near me soon. And if not near me, I'll travel. Uh, but yes, unique voices. Unique, truly beautiful voice. Uh, again, beautiful voice, no need for divas. Oh, just beautiful. It's a very beautiful statement, isn't it? Maybe if you whisper to your loved one's ear and go, you feel like home. That's a very loving thing to say. And very, very good, very nice. Feels like home. This is Eminence, Western Intestine, and Delaney Kai. It's another great Monster Cat family artist. Wow. I keep saying this, right? If you do not follow Monster Cat, you don't know new music in the EDM, really, because they are dominating the scenes. 
They really are. Although, they need to know that there's more than just London in the UK. Because, you know, there's other cities and other places and other fans of Monster Cat that can't travel to San Francisco or can't travel to New York. It's a shame, really. I'm just bitching again. Because I really want to go and see a Monster Cat lineup. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> Now I haven't done a Future Star Series edition for a while, uh, I'm mixing them into the New Music Friday, I did that last week, but I really should get back onto that because I was going to feature Wet Leg a while back, uh, they just got added to the to-do list, uh, since I've added them to the to-do list, they really have just gone on to become not just Future Stars, but FUCKING STARS! Uh, think Bjork on acid with a bass guitar. You, know, you get the sort of gist. Lyrics are mad as a box of frogs, but somehow poignant in the times we live in. Uh, yes, I'm a huge fan and looking forward to seeing these as well. Uh, and they're UK based, so hopefully they will get close enough for me to go and see. Uh, enjoy! Search them out on Spotify and enjoy! <laughs> Fuck off, Melodica Brothers. Fuck right off. Stop doing this to me. I mean, come on. Master of puppets, but way too happy. Come on, come on. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about here the Melodica Brothers. The mildest touch of cover artists and their Too Happy series. Now, it is a series now because there's more than one. They do things, you know, ugh, do house happy. It's just amazing. They are musical gods, I suppose. Because they can take something that you've heard a million times before and make it just as fresh as if you've heard it for the first time. Uh, ultimately, this isn't one of their best, but that still doesn't mean it's not good because it's fucking awesome! It's going straight on the likes, as you can see, and yeah, follow them on Spotify. Oh, the old age joke of <laughs> just scrolling to the bottom and ticking the terms and conditions box just to get on. I mean, I'm guessing the devil found new ways to make your deals. He doesn't even get you to freaking, he doesn't even bother doing crossroad deals anymore now. He just you know, sticks it on the bottom of an app. Doom! Soul gone. Nah, it was worth it. I got to play the latest game. Oh, and watch 700 adverts at a time. I might waffle on about Terms and Conditions. Well, because here we have Terms and Conditions by Kill Paris and Hobby Sounds. Hobby Sounds is new on the scene-ish. Kill Paris is a Monster Cat favourite. Uh, team up together, you get this amazing thing here. So, yeah. I would suggest you go and follow Hobby Sounds on Spotify. Bump up his follower list from 200 to a couple of thousands. Because he's with you. Now, has Diddy doing a cane and gone a bit after the breakups, you know what I mean? Uh, second one he's released here with uh, Funboy Z. Now, I'm not saying Funboy Z aren't interesting. I mean, when I checked them out last week when they dropped the other one, uh, they had only a couple of hundred followers and they've slowly bumped up to 31,000 followers. So, you know, not just Diddy see something in them. Uh, but definitely a different flow, a different change in direction. Is he uh, producing more nowadays? I mean, he's always been shit hot on the producing, but this is definitely a new flow. It might grow on me. I mean, it's made the like list, so I'll listen to it again. Mm. You can see this face, you see the eyebrows going up and down. It's like, mm, something's happening. It's definitely going rounds. I mean, this is not the first time Onyx has put the collaboration with a young up and coming artist, uh, especially over the last few weeks. I mean, we had the French one the other day. Onyx are branching out. I mean, it's a lot more than back the fuck up. I mean, Sticky Fingers is discovering new artists, and I admire that. You know, you go out of your comfort zone, you find new artists. This one here, Will Gates, he's not. The UK version of Will Gates. Do we have a Will Gates? No, that's Will Young I'm thinking of. I've seen that picture. It's not exactly Will Young, is it? Uh, but no. He's not got the flow of Microsoft. 
but he's known as the trash boy of Michigan. He's very grimy, uh, big nasty, probably would be definitely a good team up with him. Uh, well played Onyx. Unlike Diddy, your selection seems to be a bit more focused and varied. So. Interesting direction for Faith Music. I mean, it couldn't be any further from those annoying UK-based Christian rock bands. Uh, yeah, I mean, usually Faith Music, if it's not... Well, it's usually shit, really, isn't it? If, unless, of course, it's gospel Faith Music, and that, that will get you off the chair and dancing. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah, I see the light. You know, Blues Brothers is one of my all-time favorite films, and even that only scratched the surface of how awesome gospel, blues, and you know, music can fuse together. But now, yeah, this is definitely a new direction. Uh, it's Calling You Home by Reinhard Uh He would like his music to share love and hopefully bring us closer to Jesus Christ. Fair play to him. If that's the direction and the journey he's chosen to walk upon, it's a lot better than people knocking on your door saying, have you found Jesus? He's usually hiding behind the couch. I quite like this song. I like his music. I like wow, that was an epic new music Friday. And considering we're this close to Christmas, yet only one Christmas tune. And it wasn't by the annoying people. It was by television. So wow, we escaped once again. Now we are ending new music Friday as I like to do now, it seems. With ending it with Monster Cat Silk Showcase episode 624. And here we will let Vincent Morelli guide us through what 2021 has been with a few showcases along the way. So, yes, well worth a listen. I even like this one. Uh, just so I can ca catch up with the end of the year stuff. Uh, but it was an amazing New Music Friday. There wasn't really anything bad in the whole lineup, even when it came to faith music. Uh, what was your favorite this week? Well, I was asking a rhetorical question, but I'm also asking it to anyone that does get to watch these videos. Feel free to comment and tell me what your favorite was. My favorite this week, just, there was too many good ones to choose from, really. Uh, wet Leg, I mean, Bjork on Acid, what's not to love? Uh, the Colmog artists and their fantastic rendition of their song there, that live version, with that, vo oh, that voice. And talking of voices, obviously Melinda was there as well. And then Onyx and Diddy went a bit strange. Snoop Dogg gave us some fantastic old school hip hop. And yeah, overall, good week. Good week for EDM fans. Good week for music fans in general. Uh, like I say, feel free to leave a comment and let me know if there's any music I should be checking out or I've missed stuff from this week. I apologize for the rant earlier on, but it's you know, just something I felt like I have to say. Uh, I've been X2E. I will be X2E next week when New Music Friday comes again. Feel free to follow me on here. That'd be really great. Uh, I'm going to edit this all together now and put it on YouTube. So, enjoy your evening. Happy Friday.